Hello everyone, this is Ivan. Welcome back to Be Cyberwise. Today we are going to be talking about social engineering and why it's important to be aware of when it comes to staying safe online. So let's get started. Social engineering is the act of manipulating people into divulging confidential information or providing access to systems or devices. It's a tactic that is commonly used by cyber criminals to steal data or gain access to private networks. There are many different types of social engineering techniques that hackers use, but some of the most common include phishing, pretexting, baiting, and tailgating. Phishing is when a hacker sends an email that appears to be from a reputable source in order to trick the recipient into providing personal information or clicking on a link that installs malware on their computer. Pretexting is when a hacker pretends to be someone else in order to gain access to sensitive information or systems. For example, they might call a business posing as an IT support team member and ask for login credentials. Baiting is when a hacker leaves a tempting item, like a free USB drive, in a public place, in the hope that someone will pick up and use it. Once the USB is inserted into a computer, it can install malware and give the hacker access to the system. Tailgating is when a hacker follows closely behind someone who has authorized access to a secure location in order to gain access themselves. This is why it's important to always be aware of who is entering a secure location with you. So, how can you protect yourself from social engineering attacks? Here are a few tips. First, beware of unsolicited emails or messages from unknown sources, especially if they contain links or attachments. Second, be cautious of anyone asking for personal information and always verify their identity before giving anything away. Third, avoid using free or public Wi-Fi network, as this can be easily compromised by hackers. Fourth, always be aware of who is around you, especially in secure locations. Finally, make sure you use strong passwords and enable two-factor authentication on all of your accounts. By following these tips, you can help protect yourself from social engineering attacks and stay safe online. That's all for today's video on social engineering. Thanks for watching and remember to stay cyberwise.